Savvy. Welcome to Volume 2 in this series called 10 Countries Americans Can't Easily Travel Into. Also, there's a bonus for you at the end of this video, so let's jump in. Did you know there are countries you, as an American, might find it challenging to visit or move to? Fascinating, isn't it? In a world that's increasingly interconnected, it's hard to imagine that there might still be places that are tough to access. Yet, that's the reality. There are numerous countries across the globe where traveling or moving can be a real challenge, particularly for Americans. This could be due to a myriad of reasons, such as ongoing political tension, severe security risks, or incredibly strict immigration laws. It's a complex and intriguing topic, and we're about to delve into it, bringing you a list of some of these elusive destinations. Each location carries its own unique set of challenges, and we'll be exploring them all in this video. So buckle up, it's going to be an exciting ride. Now let's dive into the list of these intriguing destinations. First up on our list are South Sudan and the Central African Republic. Both these countries, while brimming with a rich cultural history and a unique tapestry of traditions, pose significant challenges to American travelers. South Sudan, the world's youngest nation, is a country of stunning landscapes and diverse cultures. However, its ongoing conflict and political instability make it a difficult and dangerous destination. Since gaining independence in 2011, South Sudan has been embroiled in a civil war that has resulted in a significant humanitarian crisis. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 4 travel advisory for South Sudan, advising Americans not to travel to the country due to armed conflict, civil unrest, and widespread crime. Moving on to the Central African Republic, or CAR as it's often called, known for its wildlife reserves and unique geography, it could be a paradise for the savvy adventurer. But beneath the surface, CAR faces its own set of challenges. The country has been grappling with civil war and sectarian violence since 2012, making certain regions particularly unsafe. Limited diplomatic presence further complicates travel, as assistance to Americans in distress can be severely constrained. These are not the typical tourist destinations you'd find on a glossy travel brochure. They're countries that require a different kind of savvy, a kind that's conscious of the realities of our world and understands the importance of safety and security. As we explore these countries, Let's remember that while travel opens our eyes to the beauty of our world, it's equally important to respect the complexities and challenges some regions face. So, before you pack your bags and set off on an adventure, always consult the U.S. Department of State or other official travel advisories for the most current information on travel restrictions and entry requirements. These countries, while rich in cultural history, pose significant safety risks. And yet, they remind us that the world is a tapestry of diverse experiences, waiting to be understood and appreciated. Next, we'll explore the challenges of traveling to Eritrea and Burundi. As we traverse these nations, we'll unravel the ways in which politics and government control can serve as significant barriers to travel. Eritrea, a country nestled in the Horn of Africa, is known for its strict government controls. The Eritrean government exercises a high degree of authority over public and private life, making it a challenging destination for American travelers. The government's tight grip extends to communication infrastructure, with limited internet access and stringent media controls. Furthermore, the U.S. consular support in Eritrea is limited, leaving American travelers with minimal resources for assistance in case of emergency. This level of control, coupled with the limited support, makes Eritrea one of the more challenging countries for Americans to navigate. Moving on to Burundi, a small nation in East Africa, we encounter a different set of challenges. Burundi has been grappling with political tensions and sporadic violence for years. The U.S. Department of State has issued several advisories over time, cautioning Americans about the risks associated with travel to Burundi. The political instability in the country poses potential safety risks, making it a difficult destination for travelers. Moreover, the occasional outbursts of violence can disrupt transportation and other essential services without warning, adding an additional layer of complexity for those considering a visit to Burundi. In both Eritrea and Burundi, we witness the profound influence of politics on travel. These nations remind us that the freedom to explore the world is not always a given. They help us appreciate the privilege of travel, and they serve as a testament to the savvy traveler's need to be well-informed and adaptable. These countries demonstrate how politics can significantly impact travel accessibility. So before you pack your bags, 
remember to consult the U.S. Department of State or other official travel advisories for the most current information on travel restrictions and entry requirements. Be the savvy traveler who's always in the know. Moving forward, let's discuss Belarus and Iraq. These two nations, while vastly different, share a common thread. They both present unique challenges to American travelers due to political unrest and security issues. Belarus, often referred to as the last dictatorship in Europe, has been in the grip of political turmoil for quite some time now. The nation's strained relations with Western countries have led to stringent travel restrictions for Americans who might wish to visit. The U.S. Department of State advises Americans to reconsider travel to Belarus due to the arbitrary enforcement of laws and the potential for detention. This, coupled with the limited U.S. government's ability to provide emergency services to U.S. citizens in Belarus, makes it a difficult country to navigate for the savvy traveler. Turning our attention to the Middle East, we find Iraq. This nation, steeped in history and culture, unfortunately, continues to grapple with security issues and regional instability. The U.S. Department of State strongly warns Americans against all travel to Iraq due to terrorism, kidnapping, and armed conflict. In addition, the U.S. government's ability to provide routine and emergency services to U.S. citizens in Iraq is extremely limited. The travel advisory remains at a level 4, indicating a do not travel warning. However, it's important to remember that these advisories are not permanent. They change as the political climate and security situations in these countries evolve. It's always a good idea for the savvy traveler to stay informed and regularly check official travel advisories for the most current information. The situation in these countries showcases the interplay between politics and security in travel. They serve as a reminder that travel isn't just about exploring new places, but also about understanding the complexities of our global community. On the list next are Chad and Sudan. Chad, a country in Central Africa, has been grappling with safety and security concerns that make travel advisories a common occurrence. It's a place of stark contrasts, from its vast Sahara Desert in the north to wetlands and national parks in the south. But these natural wonders are often overshadowed by the ongoing conflicts and humanitarian crises that grip the nation. Sudan, on the other hand, is a country steeped in history, home to more pyramids than Egypt, and a rich tapestry of diverse cultures. However, political instability and areas of conflict make it a challenging destination for travelers. The country is currently transitioning from decades of authoritarian rule, and the road to a stable democratic society is fraught with difficulties. These regions draw a vivid picture of how political instability and safety concerns can drastically shape a country's accessibility for travelers. It's a stark reminder that the world is not just our oyster, but a complex tapestry of nations, each with its own unique set of challenges. So, for the savvy traveler who seeks to explore the off-beaten path, it's crucial to stay updated with travel advisories. It's not just about the thrill of discovery, but also about ensuring your safety and well-being. These regions highlight the importance of staying updated with travel advisories. Lastly, we have North Sentinel Island in India and Bhutan. North Sentinel Island is an intriguing anomaly. It's not a country in its own right, but rather a small part of India. However, it's not the size that makes it difficult for Americans or indeed anyone to visit, but the fact that it is legally off-limits. This is to protect the indigenous Sentinelese people who reside there, a tribe so isolated that any contact with the outside world could be detrimental to their survival. Moving further east, we come to the enigmatic kingdom of Bhutan nestled in the Himalayas. Bhutan is not a no-go zone due to conflict or political tension. Instead, it's the country's savvy approach to tourism that makes it a challenge for independent travelers. Bhutan strictly controls tourism through mandatory tour packages. These can be quite expensive, but they are designed to support the country's policy of high-value, low-impact tourism. This approach helps preserve Bhutan's unique culture and pristine environment, but it also means that it's not a destination for spontaneous or budget travelers. These examples underline the diverse factors that can influence travel accessibility. Whether it's political strife, security risks, or even a savvy focus on sustainable tourism, the globe is full of fascinating places that are not so easy to get to. But isn't that part of the allure? The challenge of the unexplored and the thrill of the unknown. Traveling the world is a dream for many, but as savvy travelers, it's crucial to understand the challenges that can arise. From the ongoing conflict in South Sudan to the stringent tourism controls in Bhutan, 
we've covered a broad spectrum of places that might pose difficulties for American travelers. Whether it's due to security risks, diplomatic relations, or strict immigration laws, each country presents its unique considerations. Remember the intriguing travel facts about places like the Central African Republic and North Sentinel Island, India, which are fascinating yet complex destinations. The political unrest in Belarus and Iraq, the tensions in Burundi, and the regional instability in Chad and Sudan further highlight the importance of staying informed and alert. That was amazing, but let's not forget your bonus. You'll find links in the description below of some of necessities that could make or break your next savvy journey. Remember to stay savvy, stay informed, and always consult official advisories before planning your journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on whether you travel to any of these destinations. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Safe Savvy Travels My Friends